Hi everyone, I am Leandro França and today I will teach you how to compress a GeoTiff image. I will present to you the step by step to transform a simple GeoTiff into one of the best format for image compression. This format is GeoTiff with JPEG compression internally tiled in the YCBCR color space. In the end of this video, I will show you how to execute the batch process for compression of several images. So, let's get started. The step by step for compression of one image is this. First, you must have the QGIS on your computer. If you don't have QGIS, this step is very easy and you can do on your own. Second, after you have installed the QGIS, you have to open the OSGU shell. The icon is here, and this is the shell. Third, in my case, the image is in the flash drive. So, I'm going to alter the disk drive, change the C to F. F column. Next, you must change the working directory using the letter CD plus the path to the folder where the image file is in. The image file is in this folder and the path is this. Finally, type the following command in the prompt gdal underline translate co compress equal to jpeg co photo metric equal to YCBCR CO title equal to yes image dot TIF image underline compress dot TIF and enter. It's done. Let's check the compressed image. I'm down about to 1 over 17 the size of the original image. But I've applied a loss algorithm, JPEG. Maybe you can say that I'm ruining the data. Let's have a look and compare them. This is the original image. And now this is the compressed. Practically, there is no difference between them. The JPEG is very good for imagery. So we can see the loss of information. Therefore, you should use the JPEG with no headache. Considering that we are having huge economy of space on disk. And now, as I promised, I will teach you how to do the compression for a bunch of mages. First, you must change the working directory using the letter CD plus the path to the folder where the images are in. The images are in this folder. This is the path. So, Ctrl C and CD right click Ctrl V Next, 
you must type the following command in the prompt. I will just paste it and enter. The first image is done. The second two and the last one is done. Let's check the output mages. Great! Everything is working. Okay, if this video was useful for you, please don't forget to like this video. If you are interested in more videos, subscribe, comment and ask for more issues. Thanks.